in this third part of my series how to solve IB chemistry questions in paper one I continue to give you tips and techniques to help you deal with moles and concentration questions successfully and within the time available you're asked to determine the volume or calculate the volume of potassium hydroxide used when titrating against a given strength and a given volume of hydrochloric acid. Immediately you see this, you should realize that one mole of potassium hydroxide is needed to neutralize one mole of hydrochloric acid. I will write the equation down, but in the exam it should not be necessary, and it is not necessary, to write the equation down. So it's KOH plus HCl goes KCl plus H2O, and it's one mole, one mole. In paper two, it's usually a good idea to write the equation down and to say one mole and one mole there. Usually that gives you a mark just for doing that. But in paper one, of course, it's a different situation. You're, you're expected not necessarily to write anything down, but eventually simply to choose the correct answer. Let us choose the correct answer by looking at the equation without doing a calculation. I will do the calculation, but let's just look at it. You have 25 cm3 of 0.1 mole, and this is twice the strength. Therefore, since one mole of that is equal to or equivalent to one mole of that, if this is twice the strength, one can assume that half the volume of that would be needed. So half of that volume is 12 and a half, and so you can immediately go to C. Now, sometimes they don't give you a relationship of concentrations that is so simple, two to one. But this concentration will be either greater than that, usually a little bit greater than that, or a little bit less than that. If, in this case, where you're, where you're using potassium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid, in this case, if the concentration is a little bit greater than that one, then you know you're going to use less potassium hydroxide than that number. If this concentration is less than this one, then you know you're going to use more hydrochloric acid than this amount. So you can have a check on your calculation, even if you find you have to do the calculation, because you can only eliminate two of the answers rather than all three. It is worth having that in bearing that in mind that you can do a check on the calculation. Now let's do the calculation. I'm clearly going to use the, the well-known formula C equals N over V. And I remember this easily, as I've told you before, simply because if this is concentration, then concentration equals N over V, moles over volume decimeter cubed. C equals N over V. And I'm going to rearrange that to N equals CV. And this is the equation you use for titration to neutralization. If you can remember that, that's fine. But certainly remember this one. Okay, and the advantage of remembering that one is that all you have to do is multiply these two numbers together and the corresponding two numbers for potassium hydroxide. We are going to ignore thousands. So let's put uh, C, which is 0 0.1 times 25, that's for hydrochloric acid, and that equals uh, 0 0.2, in this case, for potassium hydroxide, times V, the volume, the unknown volume. And therefore, V equals 0 0.1 over 0 0.2 times 25, which comes to 12.5, which confirms that answer. So, this is the simple equation to use. This is the simple equation with numbers in it, without the thousands, and that comes to the answer. It's potentially possible to do this one in your head, either by simply looking at the question and realizing you need less potassium hydroxide there than that volume, or by doing this calculation. It can be done in your head and quickly. In this question, they're asking you to deal with a neutralization or a titration. The concept is the same as, what, as that that we've been discussing 
over the previous few questions. It's based around the simple formula of moles and concentration and volume. So first of all you have to remember the formula which is that C equals N over V and then rearrange it so that it's N equals CV because these are the this is what they're giving you. They're giving you a volume and they're giving you a concentration. And there they give, they're, asked, they're giving you a concentration and they're asking you for a volume. So it's CV that you're looking for. Okay, the second thing to realize is that the number of moles of potassium hydroxide is equivalent to half a mole of sulfuric acid or the other way around. 2 moles of potassium hydroxide is equivalent to 1 mole of sulfuric acid. Let me do the equation. 2 KOH plus H2SO4. And of course, quite, quite decently, the examiners have given you the formula to make it easy for you. 2 K2XO4 plus 2 h 2 o and there's two moles there, one mole there. So we'll look at the sulfuric acid. It's 25 times 0.1. And that equals the 0.1 for potassium hydroxide times the volume. Then we've got to decide where to put the two. This is the sulfuric acid and two of them are equivalent to the potassium hydroxide. You multiply the sulfuric acid moles by two in order to get the potassium hydroxide moles. So multiply that by two. And therefore V equals two times 25 times 0.1 divided by 0.1, which equals 50. There we go, 50. Now, again, as in the previous one, where we were doing potassium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid, you could have eliminated the other possible answers. Because if you're neutralizing the potassium hydroxide with 25 CM3 of this particular strength of sulfuric acid. When you come to that strength of potassium hydroxide, you have to use more potassium hydroxide than sulfuric acid, since the concentrations of the potassium hydroxide and the sulfuric acid are the same. Therefore, you must be using twice the amount of potassium hydroxide for that same for this quantity of sulfuric acid. This question is another neutralization or titration question. Both words are used by the examiner, so be aware of that. And they have, they have quite decently given you the formulae of the chemicals concerned. Let me put the equation down. Okay. CaOH twice plus 2H Cl goes to CaCl2 plus 2H2O. And notice that one mole of calcium hydroxide is equivalent to two moles of hydrochloric acid. Remember the formula we are going to use relating the concentration equals moles N over V. C equals N over V. We are going to rearrange it. N equals CV. And we're simply going to use N, the number of moles for calcium hydroxide, and N, the number of moles for HCl, hydrochloric acid. We have given that for hydrochloric acid. We've given everything for hydrochloric acid, both the volume and the concentration. So let's put those down. That's the 25 times 0.12. And, and then we put down for the uh, calcium hydroxide, it's uh, 0.1 and V. Now we have to deal with this too. If you can, you can see, you can see that 
for every mole of hydrochloric acid, there's half a mole of calcium hydroxide. So if we look at this, that's the, that's the hydrochloric acid. We want half of that to be equivalent to that. So it's 0.5 times that. And V therefore equals 0.5 times 25 times 0.12 over 0.1. And that equals 15. 15. As before, another way of looking at this question, which will help you check your answer, is to see that if 25 centimeters cubed of this strength of hydrochloric acid are needed in the titration, then if the calcium hydroxide was of the same strength, you would need only half the quantity of calcium hydroxide, which is in this case 12 and a half centimeters cubed. However, this hydrochloric acid is slightly stronger than the calcium hydroxide, so you're going to need a slight increase over that 12 and a half centimeters cubed, which gives you again 15 centimeters cubed. Thank you for watching. If you found this YouTube video helpful, please watch my other videos as well. Thank you.